My name's Robin. I'm Oliver Miners. Hi, I'm Isabel Haley. Hello, I'm Hassie here. My name's Lily Nash. I'm Eugenie the Market. Hi, I'm Taylor. I'm Arbenic Webster. Hi, I'm Cassie Hayward. And I am playing the role of Antigone. I'm playing the role of King Creon. Playing Tiresias. And I play Ismene. At first, I was a little bit sceptical because obviously, like, it's a Greek tragedy and that sort of, it, it's quite, it's a little bit scary, the thought of doing something that's so massive and all the dialogue is quite hard to understand. At first, I was a bit unsure, maybe um, because I thought it'd be a bit tricky and hard. Well, it is, but like, it's more, it's enjoyable. I'm enjoying it so far. I think it's quite interesting because last year when we did Things I Know To Be True it was much more of a contemporary. Um, this year it's a classical so I think it's going to be quite interesting to play with that as well and having a chorus as well which is something we didn't get to experience last year. I really like it, I think it's quite different which is really cool. Um, and it's like kind of it's literally nothing like a, like anything I've done before, which is really nice. And it's like nice to do something that's not kind of like typical. Originally going to do with this, or we could try it. Let's try both ways first. I think I really love the this, and I feel like you like it as well. So you try that. Um, uh, I think the biggest challenge is coming up with the chorus work for it because it's it's very different to the rest of the play. So for the dialogue scenes, you've got the script, you've got it written, you kind of, obviously you can interpret it how you like, but it's there for you on the page. Whereas the chorus, it's, it's up to the individual how you create it, and I think that's the most exciting, yet the most challenging. Seeing us all work together to like, f come up with ideas and themes, and just like being part of a big group and putting together something really cool. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's really interesting. It's definitely not a style that I've looked at before um, when doing past performances and stuff. But I mean, as a first look at the whole like genre of Greek theatre, I think it's a really good play to start with, and it's very interesting because it goes into a lot about, I mean, not just like being Greek theatre, but it goes into like the background of like Greece and all of the their gods and stuff. It's been going pretty good, to be honest. We're, we're very organised so far. We haven't actually got too much just yet, but we've, we've arranged like to go to other colleges and theatres locally to go and like borrow some of their props and design. So that would be very good, oh, since we don't, really, we don't really have too much just yet, like just at the college itself, so. Why are seven shuttered gates in waiting? And then everyone is like, Okay, good, yeah, just like a double breath. Made its panic-stricken panic flight, and all its white shields, shields and bright weapons were gone. Like, like a, a snow eagle, eagle it came from, from the bar. <laughs> the first time I watched the play was my favourite part, because I'd heard of it and I'd heard of like, the actors in it and stuff when we watched the National Theatre version. And I think then kind of getting to see the play and like really understanding the characters and the storyline, I really enjoyed that. And yet you dared to disobey the law. Yes, I did. Because it's your law, not the law of God. Natural justice, which is of all times and places, numinous, not material. A quality of Zeus, not of kings, recognises no such law. You are merely a man.